Yeah, so my name's Andrew Peters. I'm an Associate Professor in Indigenous Studies at Swinburne University. I'm a proud Yarra Yarra Yorta Yorta man. I grew up in Hillsville and now proudly live in Knox with my family. You know, we live in a, a post-colonial society that's very different to the one our ancestors lived on. And it's important for us all to understand that we share this land just like our ancestors did. We need to understand that notion of sharing and to do so, we need to feel connected to it. Well, I say an easy way to connect with Aboriginal culture is just to acknowledge the country that you're on. You know, I often like to do acknowledgements to country when I'm at events or encourage other people to do them and not to make people feel not welcome to the land or make it feel like it's not their land or it's not their home, but just to acknowledge what came before us. That for thousands and thousands of years, we had elders and ancestors who carried on traditions, who, who revered the land, who were connected to it, who understood how important that connection was. And that was their survival. We've, we've built a whole lot of things on top of the land, but the spirit and the knowledge that is contained in that land is still there underneath. And we just need to find little places where we can connect to it, to touch it, to feel it, to hear the noises of our country. But we've got so many different little spaces where we can connect. Look, it's any waterways that we have in the area, you know, for the Wurundjeri, for example, the Birrarung, the Yarra River, is a really important place. So there, all of these waterways, the natural waterways that we have, were lifeblood the lifeblood for Aboriginal people. So going to connect with them, um, any pieces of land that you can find where, you know, the gum tree, for example, the Manigum is the, the spiritual symbol of the Wurundjeri people and it's where the name's derived. I encourage students to go and walk on the grass. You know, we often walk on concrete paths and things, but it's okay to walk on the grass every now and then and just feel the ground beneath you and connect with that culture. And I think through COVID, we saw how important connecting with nature is for all human beings. So. Um, it's just another way for us all, I think, to connect not only with that, but with our local Indigenous history.